Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on matrices in R. In this tutorial, uh, I am going to talk about the addition and multiplication of matrices. So, let us start with the matrix addition. The matrix addition is a vectorized operation where the addition takes place element wise. Uh, for, uh, for addition, the dimension of the matrices must be equal. So, let us create uh, two matrices of same dimension. Uh, let us say x1 is the first matrix and x2 is the second matrix. So, these two matrices um, have same dimensions and, uh, and uh, so same rows, same number of rows 4 and same number of columns 3. Then we can simply add uh, these two matrices to get the sum of the uh, matrices that is to get the sum matrix. So, here the sum matrix is constructed in such a way that uh, each element of uh, vec uh, vector sorry matrix x1 is added uh, to the corresponding uh, element of uh, matrix 2. For example, uh, let us see. So, uh, this first um, element which uh, of the mat sum matrix which is at the row 1 and column 1 position is created by adding this element 15 which is in the first row and first column element of matrix x1 with another element 1 which is also in the first row and first column of the matrix x2. So, these numbers are added and 16 is created and it, it is um, same for all other elements in this sum matrix n. Uh, now, let us talk about the matrix multiplication. Uh, matrix multiplication uh, are of two types, we can say uh, they, they are of two types. The first one is the vectorized multiplication and it is uh, uh, the same types of um, the case where there will be element wise operation between the two vectors. So, we can simply multiply these two vectors uh, to get the vectorized um, multiplication for the matrix. So, this, this matrix which is uh, the vectorized product of matrix um, um, x1 and x2 is formed uh, from multiplying the corresponding element of x, x1 and x2 matrices. Uh, so, uh, this is a kind of uh, multiplication where um, the element in uh, the corresponding position are multiplied and then uh, uh, the product is calculated from their uh, uh, multiplication. But normally in matrix, uh, this is not the kind of uh, multiplication we see. There is uh, another kind of multiplication uh, in uh, matrices and for this kind of matrix multiplication, the number of um, columns of the first matrix should be equal to the number of row of the second matrix. Uh, so, let us create two matrix uh, which satisfies uh, that condition. So, matrix Y1 with 3 rows and a matrix Y2 with 2 rows. So, if you see this matrix, the matrix 1 has um, 3 rows and 2 columns and matrix Y2 has uh, 2 rows and 3 columns. So, the number of columns of a matrix Y1 is equal to the number of rows for the matrix Y2. So, the matrix multiplication is possible in this case. And uh, we use this uh, sign exclusively for matrix multiplication purpose. So, let us multiply um, uh, these two matrix Y1 and Y2 and see what is the product. Okay. So, this is the product here uh, from the multiplication of these two matrices. So, this um, uh, product matrix have elements which are um, actually multiplied a little bit in a different way than the vectorized multiplications. So, this first element of uh, product mat matrix 63 is made by uh, multiplying this first uh, row and first column element of y1 with first row and first column of um, uh, matrix y2 plus the first row and first column uh, first row and second column element of um, vector I'm sorry matrix y1 with um, uh, the second row and first column element of uh, matrix 2. So, 1, 7, 7 and 4 uh, uh, 
times 14 is 56. So 56 plus uh, 7 is 63. So this is just a reminder um, for you guys, like how vectors multi sorry matrix multiplication works in mathematics. So that is the same way uh, this normal multiplication is taking place um, for these two matrices y1 and y2. So that's all for matrix multiplication uh, and also the addition of matrix, uh, also the vectorized addition of matrices. Thank you very much for watching.